Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food. Добро пожаловать, and love Dian. Today I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely stunning no-bake chocolate cookie cake. This cake has been an inspiration from very famous dessert called chocolate salami in my country, and in fact, it's popular in many other countries. <laughs> And now we're gonna make it slightly different recipe in a bigger version of it and make it look like a giant cake topped with chocolate ganache and decorated with whipped light cream. It's so delicious, absolutely my favorite. If you like cookies and chocolate, this cake is definitely for you. It is completely no-bake cake, super fast and super easy to put together, yet so impressive. Let's get cooking. First thing we're gonna do is roast our pecan nuts. You can use any nuts that you like, but I personally love this flavor here. Fry the pecan nuts for about two to three minutes uh, until they start to release the aroma and become a bit golden brown. Next over here, I've got a lot of cookies. You're gonna need a lot of them. I'm using Maria cookies. These are very light and delicious cookies. You can use any other cookies you like. You can use a mix of digestives or these, it's up to you. These are just the cookies that I had at hand and they don't get too soggy with a mixture. That's why I love them. You wanna break them with your hand and have different types of pieces from smaller to larger and you know try and make them as even as you can. Once you've fried your pecan nuts, you wanna place them into a Ziploc bag and bash them down with a rolling pin until you get nice smaller pieces just like that. Don't break them too small. <laughs> You wanna then add your pecan nuts together with your cookies and set this aside. Now we're gonna make our chocolate syrup. So add your cocoa powder and sugar into a large pot and mix it together to get rid of any lumps or any cocoa powder you know, pieces. We are gonna mix it more, but just at this initial stage is really important. Then you want to add your water a little bit at a time, mix it through. Uh, just to make sure we have a nice thick chocolate paste and again we're trying to prevent lumps from happening and then you're going to add more water and basically you're going to do this in stages until all your water is incorporated the final mixture will look very very liquid just like this and that's how it needs to be and you're just going to mix one more time then you're going to add your unsalted room temperature butter and place it over the stove. You can even chop the butter in smaller pieces if you want, so it melts faster. But eventually we wanna cook this on a medium heat until the butter is incorporated and melted fully. Now this mixture will be cooking for a while and we wanna boil it for about seven to eight minutes, stirring constantly. Mm, and if you want, you can also add vanilla extract. This is completely up to you. But make sure to cook this on medium heat and don't overcook this. <laughs> because if you cook this on a very high heat, you will reduce the amount of the mixture. You then want to pour the syrup, the chocolate syrup, over your biscuits and nuts and combine it all together with a spoon. Make sure the pan you're using is large as this makes a lot of the mixture. And since we're making a large cake, <laughs> we definitely need some space. As you mix, the chocolate cookies should incorporate together and it will look just like that, nice and coated. Then over here, I've got my large pan. You can use any pan or shape that you want. I just think it looks really cool as a cake. And I have already placed it onto my presentation uh, dish because it will be easier to take it off. When you add your chocolate cookie mixture, you wanna make sure it's very, very tight. So every time you add the chocolate cookie mixture, you wanna press it down using a spoon or your hand, it's completely up to you, and just make sure it's nice and tight in there. Now, place your cake into the fridge while we make our chocolate ganache. In a, into a bowl, add your heavy or double cream together with your dark chocolate. You can also use milk, but I prefer dark. 
and melt it in a microwave in 30 second burst until it's fully melted and then just mix it together stir it just like so and the mixture will start to come together into this beautiful smooth and silky chocolate ganache now we're going to leave this to cool down for a bit and once it's cooled down and the cake has been chilling in the fridge for at least 30 minutes you're then going to add your chocolate ganache on top okay so you want to just spread that out all over try and be nice and even you can also use acetate tape if you wanted to for this cake but i didn't and it was fine smooth it out as even as you can but we are going to decorate it later too and then place your cake into the fridge for at least four hours or best if you leave it overnight now to remove the cake from the mold you want to just use a really bendable knife i'm using a fish knife and just go around the edges and loosen it up and it will come out nice and easy then you want to place it onto your presentation dish and decorate it with whipped cream it's up to you you don't have to use whipped cream here i just personally like to make it look very very pretty and just add generous amounts everywhere and of course feel free to decorate and design your cake as you want i usually add some crushed cookies on top and some melted chocolate all over just to give it more chocolate flavor usually if you leave the cake overnight it becomes so delicious the cookies have time to soak through and it should cut very very easily but this cake is just so easy so delicious and it does not require an oven which is a plus in my books <laughs> then slice into it and look how soft and delicious that is and not to speak about how amazing it looks like a piece of art <laughs> this cake is really really delicious it's got a chocolate flavor to it but it's not very rich it's more like eating chocolate biscuits with chocolate ganache and cream i can't describe how yummy it is and definitely very addictive i can't wait for you to make this delicious cookie cake call it a salami cake and enjoy it with your family and friends